New Yorkers, Californians, Los Angeles, you people from Denver, Colorado, Texas, Austin. Have you seen that film, Notting Hill? Well, you're in luck, because tonight I'm gonna show you the real thing. Notting Hill is just down that way, and that's where we're headed. What a beauty. I think it's time to roll ourselves down Portobello Road. A classic example of London in the summertime. How's it going, man? You're looking cool. <laughs> we'll get old, we'll get wrinkles. Are you dancing for me? <laughs> wow, look at this. This is pretty classic. There you go. Right, it's quite the sight, isn't it? Looks great from here, actually. Really stands out. The plan, of course, as usual, is loose and fluid. We will just mosey on round, following our nose, see where it goes. Gonna have to hit a couple of points, a couple of reference points, obviously, but other than that, we will just be following our noses and see where the streets take us. Here in Notting Hill. So first of all, what's on this bit? I came to see a flat there once. I used to hang out around here a little bit during the day when I was a West Londoner. You know, nothing special, just a Saturday afternoon, maybe have the odd beer in the evening. This pub used to be called Bed. I'm sure it's changed hands and names loads of times, but it was, it was a really cool pub. And here, I specifically remember this green place, which is now green, or maybe next door to it. I specifically remember it was one of the best tapas I ever had in London. It was fantastic. And of course, this is the world famous Portobello Road, which we will explore properly a bit later. So a very rough outline of a plan. We are riding along Portobello Road at the moment, the very upper end of it. And I think what we'll do to start with on this beautiful summer evening is head across to the other main artery of Notting Hill, which is of course Ladbrook Grove. We might ride down the full length of it just to get a flavor of it up to the end and then maybe do the full length of Portobello on the way back. All right there, boy. <laughs> Let's get ourselves over to Ladbrook. It's such a perfect summer evening. It's about 26, 27 degrees. So this is something we're probably gonna see quite a lot of tonight. It's Friday night, it's after work. You're gonna find lots of these pubs on corners. Everybody's sitting out, having a lovely time, relaxing after a hard week in work. Now, is this Labrook Grove? I think it might be. Yeah, so this is the top bit of uh, Labrook Grove, the north end, up towards North Kensington. I suppose you might say the slightly scuzzier end of that, if that's possible. It is possible. It's a bit more rough and ready, let's say. And as we head down further, you'll find it'll change into a different sort of feel. Let's head that way now. Yeah, so as I said, this is the main artery that runs right down through the heart of Labrador Grove from the north up there, right down to the southern end, southern end, to Holland Park, places like that. And it's a major road, it's a main road, it's got nothing special about it, but I think it's a good way to start off the trip. I just want to say that, you know, when I'm looking at camera, you might see me you know, sort of scanning around the place as I'm talking. And that is me just keeping my eyes open, keeping my wits about me, you know, making sure that no one's creeping up behind me or, you know, coming from a funny angle, stuff like that. So, as long as you understand what's going on, that's all it is. It's not a dangerous place by any means, but you've got to keep your eyes open like any big city, really. So this is kind of like the main heart of Ladbrook Grove, I suppose. There was a very famous record store here once, some sort of reggae-based record store. I don't know any details on it, I'm afraid, but... Well, no point talking now. <laughs> I'm getting drowned out by a singer. There you go, so that's Labra Grove tube station. It's all a bit hectic, as you can imagine. So in a little while, we're gonna be peeling off to some of these beautiful side streets. But for the time being, let's head up Labrador Grove to the top, see what's going on up there, and then head back down and start going inland a bit. Inland? We're not at the coast, are we? What are you on about? We've got some of the massive houses on the right, and the left, in fact, but on a massive hill in front of me. This was unexpected. It's hardly massive, is it? Don't laugh, boys, I'm doing my best. <laughs> it's all right. It's just a hill. All right, let's get up this hill. Whoa. 
Oh, Pontiac. There's a car. There's another car. <laughs> Citroen 2CV. Talk about opposites. This could be the first of many classics we see tonight. I don't know, but look at that. What a beauty. How can this just be on the street in London? Look at this. An absolute perler. It's not a Pontiac at all. It's a Buick. A beauty of a Buick. It's like a Batmobile. Absolute beaut. I've got to practically risk my life to take this photo, I tell you. It's so good. Well, oh, look at that. Look at the sun flaring off it. Man. <laughs> no, that's a car. Petrol. You say these electric cars. <laughs> We're gonna look stylish, forget it. That's what I'm talking about. Right, I'm just at the end of Labour Grove now, at the top end. Where's he going? The southern end, I suppose, where we hit Holland Park, which is a road and an area. Beautiful pubs around the place. It's a lovely sunny evening. It's a real cracking evening. And we head up the hill towards Notting Hill Gate. Well, this is Holland Park, another super posh area. Lots of celebs living around here. Uh, this is the area where Jimmy Page and Robbie Williams <laughs> are neighbors and having their little dispute about the basements and all that sort of stuff. I used to hang out around here quite a bit back in the day. It's a really good spot. So this is kind of the crossroads at the top of Notting Hill Gate. Here we've got the cinema, the gate, the gate cinema. It's quite well known. And the famous tube station is just there. And you can see there the sign for you probably can't see it, for Portobello Market, down that way. And we're going to head there next, see if there's anything going on on a Friday night, after work. Right, I think it's time to roll ourselves down Portobello Road. Last of the sunlight. Stop blabbering, Jay, watch where you're going. It's kind of a well-known walk, this, if you get off at Notting Hill Tube and you're heading to the market, this is the way you'd probably come. You go past all this parade of shops first and the, the vintage shops and all the quirky stuff like this. It's really nice. Kind of touristy stuff, obviously. I know we said we wouldn't do a lot of touristy stuff, but you can make the odd exception. Why not? It's Friday. What do I do? I like this road. I remember this one. Sun in splendor, absolutely. Old Merc, anybody? Well, we don't do many of these, but here's a blue plaque. I'm stopping at this one because it's for George Orwell. Novelist and political essayist, I think it says. He lived there at some point. Well, I can be more precise than that. 1903 to 1950. <laughs> it's quite a long time. He obviously liked it around here. And I don't blame him. It's a nice spot to be in. Very colorful even though they're not getting the sun. Here's a bit of sunlight for us. Look at that. So this to me is kind of where Portobello Road Portobello really starts for me. This is where the market often starts and where you see all these, that's why you see all these cute shops around the place. You get these muse houses down here. But there you go, this is the sort of shops you've got around these parts. Lots of jewellery, and I think a lot of these shops are the ones that bring out stalls on the weekend when the market is. I think it's on a Sunday, it may even be on a Thursday as well. Don't hold me to that, I can't be sure. Now, I'm starting the explorations already because I can't resist, <laughs> along with everybody else. Look at these colourful places. Yeah, it's a super popular spot, of course it is. I'm doing something a bit touristy, but you know what? I really don't mind tonight. It's such a cracking evening. You just gotta get out, haven't you? <sighs> Try and stick to the plan, Jay, for once. Go down Portobello Road to the end, then start the explorations. In the meantime, there's some super colorful houses in the glorious evening sunlight. What do you think of that? It's just like a movie set, isn't it? <laughs> Might as well be. Portobello. W11. Oh, wow, what have I got here? A Ferrari, 
never mind that. That's boring compared to what's coming up. Look at this. Sort of cool stuff you get in these parts. Now, what is this? VW. What is it? It's a remake. Oh, all right. You took me by surprise on that one. Yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> Just another night. Jay, stick to the plan. Straight down Portobello. Yeah, I spent many a happy hour down here. It's kind of quiet tonight, funnily enough. You should see it on market day, you can't move. All this middle row, the middle of the street is completely full of, of market stalls. This is what you call a classic example of London in the summertime. Pubs spilling out onto the pavements. People happy, relaxed. We just come across something. Okay, so from the famous film. This is the famous bookshop that inspired it. It inspired that travel bookshop in the film Notting Hill. This is the one. That's why everybody stood outside even though it's closed. <laughs> the Notting Hill bookshop that inspired the travel bookshop in the film Notting Hill. Well, that's site number one. Plenty more to come. Everything's a movie set around here. No wonder they made a film about the place. Right, back on track, back on the Portobello Road. Looks like there might even have been some sort of market today because everybody's closing up after something. They probably have general markets here, I would guess. The castle? Yeah. And the next famous thing we have from the same film, just around the corner from the bookshop, is what they call the famous blue door that Hugh Grant was stood outside. And again, tourists coming to have a look. Oh, it's achingly cool around here. <laughs> oh, if only I could have afforded to have lived here proper. That was never going to be an option, unfortunately. Unless, of course, you all want to help me with that. Oh, there's that crazy car we just saw. <laughs> For somebody who knows a bit about cars, I don't know what the hell that thing is. Right at the very northern end of Portobello Road now. As you can see, London in the summertime is hard to beat. Everybody out having drinks and food on the pavement. Sidewalk, if you want to call it that. And during market days, the market carries on up here. So there's nothing, there's no shops or anything up here. There's a bit of art on the walls and stuff, but other than that, not much else. Spanish school. Ah, well, that makes sense. That's why it was a Spanish flag. How funky is that? Right, and now we can start diving into the streets. There's some more funky art. Not Banksy, I know he's been busy lately, but he didn't do this one. This is not his style. Yeah, that's not a Banksy. So I think we need to go across to the other side and see what's going on over there before getting ourselves lost on this side again. Straight down there towards that tower sticking up. Ah, oh, just on a quick map check, I've drifted off course. I'm gonna head south a little bit and back into it. Got a few flower pots here, look at that. Made up steel drums. Ah, I bet they're left over from the carnival. Talking of the carnival, it's been going every year since 1965. Sort of a cultural celebration of the Notting Hills history. I'm in the estates, I found an estate somehow. It's got me a way out of this. Don't know how on earth I've done this, but you might have heard of the terrible fire at Grenfell Tower as well. Well, that's just up behind this block here. Where am I? In the back streets, big time. Wow. Exploring, man. Yeah, this is Grenfell Tower. I've never seen it up close. There's some tributes from people, leaving tributes to people that lost their lives here. This terrible event. All right, let's see if we can get back on track. Where the hell am I? Museum of Brands, oh dear. Personal Coca-Cola and stuff like that. All right, what do we do? Not die for one thing. Head down here. Notting Hill, of course, famously full of the beautiful people. The beautiful people. As Marilyn Manson once said, oh God, has he been canceled? Oh dear. Can't miss this bloke. <laughs> Let's say hello. Good to see you, family man. <laughs> ah, obviously a local celeb. 
Oh, we're back by the blue door. Here we are again. Oh, I've done well. More tourists having fun. Any Beatles fans watching? Not a band. Never heard of them. Beatles, the cars, you know. <laughs> I never liked them when I was young, but now, oh yeah, that's a cool looking vehicle. I think I like all these cars like this these days because all modern cars look boring to me and old cars look so great. I mean, Beatles, look at it. Look at the style in that. Of course, we've got Adolf to thank for that, but never mind that, give that a miss. All, oh, all Saints Road. Apparently where the old All Saints shop started. So I'm told. Wow, this is nice. This is a colorful spot. Shame the sun's not on them, but look at all this. Muted colors there. Down to the bright colors down here. Oh man. I guess I just love architecture in some shape or form. I might have to lose the glasses in a minute. It's getting dark. See, I told you we'd see a lot of these. But that one, I think, is a Carmen gear. I think I got that right. I hope we're not turning into a car channel. Well, if we are, I better brush up on my knowledge. The Notting Hill Carnival has run every year since 1965. So it's kind of a world famous event. Everybody in London knows about it. And if you, if you live in London or if you've come to London, at some point or other, you'll go to Notting Hill Carnival. Even if it's just once like I did. I went once just to, you know, say I've been and get the experience. But I wouldn't go again because it was pretty hectic and I kind of seen it, you know, that's how it works. So at some point there were some racial tensions in 1976 between carnival goers and the police. Um, and a couple of guys <coughs> were involved in uh, some trouble there. And there was a bit of a clash between the police and the locals. And two of the guys were Paul Simonon and Joe Strummer. And they formed a band called The Clash, funnily enough. And they wrote a song called White Riot, which just happened to be about the riots that happened that day after Nautical Carnival in 1976. How's it going, man? Hi. You're looking cool. <laughs> Can't miss you. Hey. <laughs> uh, there you go. Probably the ultimate in colorful characters here in Notting Hill. And I guess that guy epitomizes Notting Hill Carnival. You can't help but smile. Hang on a minute. There's another one. That's the third one of these now. That's a VW Carmen Gear again. It's two on the same street. <laughs> How popular is this? <laughs> wow. If that ain't a popular pub. Here we go. Westbourne Grove. There we are. Pretty dead on a Friday night, sadly. That's life. Can't win them all. I tell you, you cannot beat London in the summertime. I know people want to get out of the city, and I do too a lot of the time, but if you are here, it's a great place to be. It's just so nice. There's so many cafes, so many pubs and things. You just stand outside, eat and drink, meet people, meet friends. It's really good. And I suppose if you're going to come here, you might want to dress up a little bit. <laughs> ah, you don't have to, but people do. Actually, there's a missing link here somewhere. There's an area that I really want to find. I've missed it, and it's a really nice part. I'm going to have to go back and find it. I think it might be up here to the right. Let's just cheat a minute. Give you some famous names of people who live in the area. Jennifer Lawrence, Kira Knightley, Hugh Grant, quite handy for him. Lindsay Lohan, Harry Styles. I don't think he's here anymore. I think he's a Hampstead boy now. Not terrible without glasses on. Damon Albarn, Robbie Williams. I think he's more Holland Park though, personally. Films, not just Notting Hill, has been more than that. With Nail and I, another British classic. Quadrophenia, another British classic. The Italian Job, British classic. And A Hard Day's Night, British classics. So quite a lot of films being made in this area. It's not just, you know, the obvious one. But this part of town is really quite nice, so I think it's worth a look. I'm gonna scout around and show you it. And these places are enormous. But yeah, this is a nice part of town. Would you live in a house like this? Would you like to? I would. Right, this is undoubtedly probably the most exclusive part of town. Look at these places. Absolutely mega. Wow. When you come to London on your holidays and your visit, if you want to see the nice stuff, come to the Pembridge areas. You've got Pembridge Villas, Pembridge Crescent, Pembridge this, Pembridge that. 
Don't like seeing myself without my glasses on on this thing. My fluffy hair, I do like some sort of crazy spaniel. Don't worry about that. Overlook it, it doesn't matter. We all get old, we all get wrinkles. These things. Right, Pembridge Crescent, I think, over there. Let's check that out. Oh, we got us an XJS. Hey, what a nice one too. V12, come on, blow that fuel. Unlike some of the other videos, if you're coming to London on your holidays, you can come here, and I do suggest you do. Check out these massive, great, beautiful stucco-fronted homes. There's blue plaques everywhere here. It's obviously a super popular spot with the rich and famous. You're dancing for me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Don't stop on my account. I'm doing a vlog about the area and I need something interesting. <laughs> I need something very interesting from Notting Hill. What can you give me? <laughs> Do you live here? You don't live here? You're visiting? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. All right. Sorry. No problem. I'll find something. Well, I wasn't lucky this time, never mind. I'll find something interesting. Keep looking, keep looking. Now this is a street. In case you want to know, this is Stanley Gardens. Look at that. What a view. And what a great way to end our little trip in Notting Hill, I think. A very scenic ending to it all. This deserves a photo. I really enjoyed this tonight. It's been way better than I thought it was going to be. Shame we missed the best of the sunlight, but I think we've done pretty well. And that's it from Notting Hill and Kensington. It's time to leave and get out of here and say goodbye from this beautiful area. Just check it out for one last time before we go. If you like this and you want to see a bit more, maybe we'll do a few other really fancy areas of London. Sprinkled in amongst the mix of everything else. So I'll show you a bit of everything London's got to offer from the scuzziness to the beautiful side. And this is definitely the latter. I'll see you next time. Somewhere in London, maybe scuzzy, maybe not so scuzzy.